In this video, I'm going to share with you a quick and easy way to create an ebook using Canva. What I love about Canva is that you don't need to be technically savvy and know how to work something like Photoshop. That's the whole purpose of Canva because they've made it so that any beginner or newbie can basically edit and design their own graphics. But in this particular video, I do want to share with you step by step how to go about creating and designing your own ebook. So with that said, let me share on the screen what Canva can do. All right, so I'm logged in here to my Canva account. I do have a Canva Pro account, but that shouldn't stop you from creating ebooks anyway, because they do still offer quite a lot of ebook templates that you'll be able to choose from, and I'll show you how to do it. So some of these elements and things and like stock photos, you may not be able to use, but if you do upgrade, then you will get that unrestricted access to those elements and stock photos. To start creating our ebook, what we're going to do is choose an A4 document. Now this may not appear under the recommended section. So all you need to do is just search for A4 document. Alternatively, you can also go back and select documents and then selecting A4 document. So I've done that and now it's created a blank canvas for me to start my ebook. Now, these templates are not particularly based around, you know, fiction or non-fiction ebooks. These are just things like annual reports that you see. We're having a flash sale. So these are just kind of like miscellaneous things that are in A4 size. So it doesn't mean that it's all just in for an ebook. But what we're going to do is just leverage on these templates that have been professionally pre-designed for us so that we can save time in creating our ebooks. If I hover over any of these, we can see that if the, the ones with multiple pages, it kind of slides through it. And you can see which ones are free as well by looking at the bubble here. So it says free and we can see also one of two pages. And what you do want to look out for are the ones with multiple pages because that's going to help us kind of create pages that are different from the title page, for instance. So let's scroll down. We can take a look at more templates to choose from. There's one of five here, which is great. This one looks like it's great for something like a recipe ebook. But what I'm trying to find are the ones that actually have a lot of text that I can put in. The feature that you can use in Canva is the filter section. So if you want to filter it just for free templates that you can use, then you can select that. Or if you have a pro account, then select pro. But let's apply it and that'll just show all the free templates that we can use. In addition, we can also select the language and also select what sort of color branding we want. So let's say we only want orange templates. We can apply it and that'll only show those orange templates. But let's go ahead and remove those filters for now. For this example, I'm just going to use this one here that has 10 pages. So four of 10, five of 10, as you can see, let's click that once and we can click on apply all 10 pages. Now, don't worry too much about having all of the 10 pages. We can also remove the pages that we don't want or edit the pages that we want to. So I've applied all the 10 pages to the canvas. As you can see, now it's taken effect. Now from here, we can start with the title page and whatever it's called, we just click on the title. Let's say you are creating an ebook based on social media marketing. We can simply replace the text social media and don't worry about the text falling out or not in the right size. I'm just going to use the outline text there for marketing. So that kind of stands out a bit more. We can also remove certain elements like this here. Now this is kind of grouped together with the social media marketing text. If we move it, the October 2020 also moves. So to ungroup it, all we need to do is just right click it and click on ungroup. And now when I move this element, that'll just move that individual element right there. And I can remove this too by deleting it and then editing anything else I want to here. So let's say I just don't want that text, but I do like that stripe there. And it says prepared and presented by, let's put in my name here. Now, if I do want to add my own picture, I just, let's say, delete this. And this is just a placeholder image. I can add my media by clicking on uploads. And here's a bunch of the media that I've already got in my Canva account. So let's say I want to add this one here. 
I just hovered a little bit and it's already kind of found the dimensions of that pre-existing placeholder. And just like that, I've got my title page all done. If I wanna change the font colors, I just highlight that. And at the top, we've got this extra bar for formatting. We can change it to black like that and change the bar as well to whatever other color. Let's say I wanna use a nice blue color, I can do that. And uh, to stay consistent, I also wanna change this little bar as well. Now, let's say I do wanna add extra elements. All I need to do is just click on the elements section and here we go, we've got some animated ones which won't make sense for our ebook since it's all static. But I wanna search for, let's say, a circle. We've got circle here, circle there, but this is a pro. So again, you can use the filter to just filter it. So I'm going to use free elements here, but just for the fun of it, let's choose pro this time, just so you can kind of have a glimpse of what the Canva Pro elements offer as well. These are all the kind of circles that came up. Uh, I like this one here. So let's click that once. And I'm just going to put it kind of over here just to, as an extra kind of symbol, you know, just a bit of uh, decorative uh, symbol there. Of course, I want to change the color. So these elements can also be changed. Click that once again at the top, choosing that same color stick with the brand colors. All right, so that's pretty much done. Now, one little kind of tip I wanna share with you is that let's say you want this particular element behind the image. All I need to do is just change the position and then selecting backward. And that'll put that particular layer behind whatever it is that you want uh, in front. But I'm going to undo that. I can either just click on the undo button right there or hitting Command Z on my Mac here, or for Windows, it's Control Z. I'll just realign that. Now to complete the rest of your pages, in terms of colors, of course, you can just repeat the same steps. So this heading here, just change the color there. We can also change the font style here, and then choosing one of the ones that are listed here. There are some fonts that are only available in the Pro account, so you can look out for that here. But scrolling down, let's say we don't want this particular template. I'll just click on the bin icon, delete page. This one looks like it'll be usable. Uh, these other ones we can use as, let's say a feature page that we can use for our ebook. This other one could be used again, like a feature page where you can put your timeline workflow or some sort of template. But let's say we just simply want our text. I'm going to just delete whatever elements first as to start off. And I simply hit the delete button on my keyboard. Now we've got this, these are grouped. What I'm going to do is just right click that first and ungroup it. We've got two columns for this particular template. So what I'm going to do is just delete one of them. And now I'm left with one column and I'm going to expand this so that it takes the full width of the page like that. Based on this template, the text does look a little small. So I do want to just highlight everything and increase the size to something a bit bigger. Now that looks quite readable, but it is still quite large. And then selecting a smaller size, let's say 16. So it looks pretty good there. We can also set the alignment of the text by selecting this. So at the moment it's aligned to the left. And if I do want centered, I just keep clicking. If I want it right, just keep uh, click another time. If I want it justified, I'll just click another time. And now it's more neatened. All right, so that's essentially how you would add your ebook text to the template. Once you kind of finished with everything and you're happy with the formatting and the colors and the fonts and everything, really all you need to do is just hit that download button up above and choose your format. Of course, it's going to be a PDF version. You are given some extra options such as a PNG, JPEG, a PDF standard, which is smaller in file size. Uh, we've got the PDF print suggested. So usually Canva does suggest the format to actually save it in. So I'll just follow that. Now we can also select the pages that we want exported. By clicking this, we can actually select the specific pages we want. But if we want all pages, then we don't need to select anything. All I need to do now is just click on download. And now it's saying preparing your design. 
All right, so at the moment it's downloaded in my downloads folder and it says published successfully. I'll just close that. This is just uh, promotional for if you want to get this actually printed. So I'll close that. All right, so I've opened the PDF now and you can see exactly what it looks like. So this looks pretty good, even though I haven't edited the rest of the pages, but you get the idea. And now what I can do is sell this ebook, of course, not this example, but it's pretty much ready formatted for my customers to read and view. All right, so that's how quick and easy it is to use Canva to create your own professional looking eBooks. If you got value from this video, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on notifications too so that you don't miss a thing. Thanks a lot for watching and do stick around to watch these next relevant videos coming up.